Hey, welcome to another one today. I from now on will leave the dates on when they're written on the bo- on the screen, unless I'm embarrassed that I've forgotten about it and it's like a, a like a month later and not, now I'm uploading it. So, but then I guess you'll know. Um, but I've written another one today, and I'm filming this on the fourteenth of September. It's called I'm Out. It'll be a series, and. Um, I'll write it according to what I want, but if there's any suggestions or anything that people want to see, um, they can comment it and, like, I'll keep that in mind when writing it. But this one's called I'm Out. It's a miraculous one. Let's just get started straight away. One day, the gang were hanging out at school. Nino, Adrian, and Alia were talking about Lila. She had millions of stories. Myrna knew she was lying. And I'm BFFs with Ladybug, she heard from the other side of the room. She wanted to prove them wrong, but she couldn't. Technically, she could just transform, but no one, no one could know that she was the hero. This continued for many painful weeks. One day, it became extreme. Lila had everyone but Marinette fooled. So she made it lie to turn everyone against Marinette. She made up a story and made Marinette seem like the worst bully ever. She came to school and everyone ignored her and glared at her. Her being Marinette at this point. She didn't even know why. She sat in the cafeteria and waited for her, and waited for her best friends, but they gave her an angry look and then sat with Lila. As the guardian, she had found out Adrian was chat. She learned to keep composure, but she was angry. Everyone believed Lila over her, and lie as in, not the truth, Lila, <laughs> over her. That's not even right, that's smart. Um, she knew if she were Ladybug, this would be a different story. She hated how her halves were never treated as a whole. At the end of the day, she found out why everyone hated her. She was so angry. The next day, she was sitting alone for lunch. She overheard the class talking about her. She stood up, turning and turned around, and and slamming her hand on the table. Go away, Marinette, they all said. Oh, I will, but first. Pollen, tricks, ways. She called out every commie there. And plague. Grab your miraculous. We are leaving. She said. Multiple Kwamis came out from bags and jackets. They took their miraculous and flew behind Marinette. But how, Adrian said, looking at the Kwamis. Black flew a little closer. As much as you guys are our our masters, the the guardian is our grandmaster. She can pick our holders and take us as she pleases. He answered with a sad face. Tiki spots on, she said, still angry. She knew she made a mistake, but she couldn't take it. And by the way... Your precious Lila is a liar. I hate her. We are not BFFs. She swung away. The group realized that she was the liar and that they turned their backs on the hero of Paris. They also realized they were never going to catch up with her now that they didn't have their miraculous on their own. Now they didn't have their miraculouses. Why? Why were they so blind? And that is the end of this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a second part to see, like, the realization and everything and, like, where Marinette goes. I haven't really decided, so you guys can suggest stuff uh, for where you want the story to go. Um, and, yeah, not going to beg for likes or, likes or subs or anything, but I wouldn't complain. My favorite new line for every video I'm really, really happy with how the channel's going. Um, yeah, and every time I even see a comment, like, I genuinely have the biggest smile. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying all of these. It's going to get hard because my homework is starting to, like, come in slowly. And it's not like there's little, but it's not like there's too much. Like, I can still, like, in the car, you know, find time to write something but it's not very easy so i hope you guys are enjoying i'm sorry that this is one of my shorter ones but you know um i wrote it pretty pretty quickly what i do with most of them is just i think of an idea and i like start writing as fast as i can 
And sometimes I can stretch it out. Sometimes I really just don't have the mental capacity to stretch it out. And I don't have the time either. So I'm sorry that this one is one of my shorter ones. Um, I hope you guys still enjoyed. And yeah. See you next time.